students, all the viewers who are just watching this webinar on the auspicious day. Because we are going to know something new today, that's that's has been uh, the trend as far as the webinars from PIHMCP are concerned. And we have been trying to bring you some of the exquisite personalities around us to share with us some of the knowledge, experience that is going to be much more helpful for us for a lifetime. So in today's series of webinar, we have got Mr. Amok Das, or I can say Acharya Biryadas, uh, and Mr. Satish Jha from uh, Hotel Management has been there. My name is Kapil Mehta. I welcome you all to the session. Uh, good morning, Amok sir. Good morning, Satish sir. Welcome you on behalf of Parul University. Good morning, Kapil. Okay, with the due, uh, due permission of yours, I think I should start. So before giving a glimpse of the topic, I would like Satish sir to just introduce a simple topic which is there and then we are going to go ahead with Acharya Viridasi. He'll be explaining you the topic. Just a, a brief description of it is going to be given by Satish sir. The topic for today is the self-management. So the secret of self-management, this is what uh, has been suggested by uh, our guest speaker and you also. So please have a glimpse, um, give a glimpse on it. Thank you, Kapil. Thank you. Actually, if we go on self-management, the word self and management, management always uh, comes uh, into terms when we are managing all the resources which we are having or the surrounding which we are having. That is the management or managing the things which we are surrounded of. And self, what we are, what are in ourselves, what we made up of or what we constructed of, that is the self-management. And secret behind uh, Self-management is we to understand the basic features to manage ourselves. Nowadays, if you see a uh, self-management is uh, relate, uh, taking the correlation with where we are managing the time, where we are managing all our jobs which we are supposed to perform. But for my understanding, it is not a self-management. It is managing your job at that particular time. If you are saying about, if we are considering about the self-management, that means we have we have to manage our head. That means we have to do our regular exercise or the yoga activity. We have to perform that so that our body regularities or the functioning of the body should be go in the smooth manner. Then secondly, we have to perform all the activities. That means activity with the family, activity to regenerate ourselves, to revitalize ourselves, activities to perform all those things for which we are hired for. Or for our business as well. Then again, activity should be performed in the later evening where we can uh, refresh ourselves so that we can be ready for the next day. In acti activity, those, those activities also could be performed which are going to boost our culture as well. Not our culture, the person who is belonging to that culture. All these things I think is going to be combined together and going to make the, the self-management term. So first, we have to understand what is self-management because now the terms are going like it is diluted. It's getting diluted. So that's why we call Acharya Amogri Varadidas because they are in this field from very long time and they are taking these speeches, sessions very long, from very long time and they have the experience of that and they are doing these sessions regularly. So we require their experience as well and their comments as well so that they, we can uh, Throw some light on this. Okay, okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. As you have uh, rightly explained, sir, that the inner self has to be organized very well to achieve uh, something which is extraordinary in the life. So, would like to invite uh, Acharya Amok Das to give uh, or to enlighten our students on this. So, over to you, Acharya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tadeji, and thank you so much, Kapil sir, as well, and the Parul webinar team for organizing this wonderful meeting called as the Science of Self Management. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yeah, great. So, as a topic has been offered to us today, the secret, the technique to learn how to organize and manage the self within. It is very much essential to understand that 
the self cannot be managed until and unless you are coping up with the environment in which you are situated and that precisely indicates the kind of relationships we build with our neighbors now neighbors does not necessarily mean only the next door neighbor but the kind of office space we share with our own neighbors the kind of work space which share with neighbors the kind of classroom space which share with our own neighbors and that term via which we are communicating with our neighbors is called as relationship that's why this topic has been thrown into light how to understand the secrets of relationship management a very integral and very very essential part of managing the entire self because you see we may be very expert in guiding others but when it comes to our own self management others are best at guiding us it's a fact for example a father can very easily point out the defects or the faults in a child but for pointing out the defects in the it is not the father is all perfect no the father is not all perfect to find out the limitations of the father he needs his father that's where this relationship management techniques come into picture which collaborate and enhances the self management practices which we are going to discuss okay so with this brief introduction i would like to proceed with this brief presentation i hope you are able to see the presentation as well i have kept myself so in a very far. small window in yes, the presentation so, so far i mean it. you yeah. have said there is a suspense that's why i thought let's wait for it to see <laughs> okay, okay yes, fine. It, 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 it. so now as you can see on the screen a wonderful tag line has been displayed secrets of relationship management now this comprises of three words secrets we all love secrets and surprises but these are secrets of relationship and management rishte to hum khair bahut sara banate hain lekin rishto ko manage karna yani ki rishte ko qaim rakhna us buniyad ko ek naye kadam pe leke jana uske liye kya kya bahut zaruri cheeze hain techniques hain world famous techniques hain but having said that i would like to reiterate those world famous techniques again for all of your benefit and to start with let us discuss a few faqs why this topic comes into picture secrets of relationship management you know we all want to have influential relationships influential does not mean always manipulating in nature but influential always means that there should be somebody who can you who we can talk to at times of need now this need can be times of happiness and times of distress as well then how to avoid stress unnecessary stress in relationships which further degrades the quality of our own life then why shall i compromise matlab situation aisa aa jata hai jahan pe mujhe hamesha jhukna padta hai aisa kyu main kyu jhuku har baar so you see this basic questions of relationship management helps in turn developing your own self how to manage the man how to manage the self within so that is why one more uh, very frequently frequently asked question or commonly observed phenomena is you know you have emotional outbreaks emotional outbreaks does not always mean crying out or sobbing out emotional outbreak can be anger also emotional outbreak can be oh my god too happy to contain within yourself correct and that can affect your performance for example these days ipl season is going i mean it has ended of course and you are so much engrossed in watching those matches that you forgot to do your tomorrow's assignment for the webinar you see how happiness can can also prove fatal to your management self management so how to face this emotional outbreaks and more importantly how to be a listener this day in the common era everyone loves to speak everyone loves to speak but why is an intelligent are those who lend ears to listen you know silent and listen these are spelt with the same words s i l d n t l i s t e n so learn to listen and for listening you need to be silent this is an art of course we will discuss in our due course of presentation so let us move ahead and uh, this presentation is totally and totally dedicated to his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shri prabhupada who is the founder acharya of the international society for krishna consciousness or commonly known as the hari krishna movement and based upon his teachings we have derived this wonderful conclusions of today's presentation
So without further ado, let us move forward. I'll give you some simple techniques. Already most of you are familiar with this, but still having as I said that, old is gold. We will brush up with these new techniques, with these old techniques, with a new touch up. Okay. So proceeding further, I would like you to guess because of course it's uh, being broadcasted in Facebook. So my audience is limited and Kapil sir and Satish Jha sir can also participate on their own part. So you can answer me the most selfish one letter word. Any guesses? Kapil sir, Satish sir, if you're there, the most selfish. I. One letter. Yeah, exactly. What an audience to tell me that. It is I. Of course it is I. And how? This most selfish volatile word has occupied our entire mental space. I'll give you a small example. A father is there. He has gone to the shop with his child. And the child is asking a new iPhone. Now the father is thinking in his head, iPhone. Then he says iPad. Then he says iPod. And what do I say? I paid for all these things. You see, the father is thinking these things in his head. Means, the child is, sim of course, is not uh, blaspheming all the children over there who are watching this video. But having said that, man has become so much selfish that everything centered around his own centric self ego. Everything is revolving around this big I, the most selfish one letter word. Mary Apekshai, Mary Chai, Mary Kayamai. We have all super high expectations, super high expectations of anything what we do. Be it be Gali cricket, Usmai Apna Ko Sachin Tadolgar Manna hai. Be it be office work, Usme apna ko boss banna hai, boss ka hi boss banna hai. You see, this is called as the most selfish. Because why selfish? You are doing it for your own personal gratification, for your own personal agenda. You know, there is a small joke which goes around. There was a small boy who used to say, Mama, I love you. And the mother, five-year-old five boy, Mama, I love you. Mama says, what do you want? Chocolate, chahiye, pizza, chahiye, donut, chahiye, correct? The boy grows up to 15 years old, Mama, I love you. <clears throat> Bolkone, Kaharati, number Kyoska. <laughs> See, it understands, mothers can understand everything. Then the boy grows up to 25 years old. Mama, I love you. You see, the mother understands psychology. The same boy grows up to 50 years old. Mama, I love you. And the same mother says, May sign Nehi Karunki Kisai property paper. Pe. How? The same boy, the same mother, the same words, I love you, but the intent has changed over the period of time. Actually, people don't live to fulfill your desires. People around you don't fulfill your desires. Try to understand this. More and more, we are attached to satisfying our desires, the more frustrated we are bound to be. Take it as a writing from me. Of course, I have not stamp the post stamp, so I stamp on the stamp. But having said that, you have two options. Either you serve voluntarily or you get served. Either you love or be loved. In the second case, when you are being loved, there is always a backlash error. Backlash error means when you do something for with the expectation of getting something back in return, it is always going to, it's called the boomerang effect. You know, you throw a boomerang and it hit backs upon you only. Correct? So when you do something out of, uh, you know, expectation, with the expectation of getting something back, this is very dangerous. That is a very simple policy to be followed, to come out of this vicious cycle of selfish nature. What is that? You simply give and be happy. You simply give and be happy. Without expectation, you give and be happy, or you simply keep on taking, 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 and taking, and you'll be frustrated at the end of the day. A very good gentleman has once said, you know, he has been put in several trial situations, and facing all those trial situations, he has prayed to God. Next time, I should not complain, God. Why me? Why am I facing all these kind of trouble situations? In fact, I should pray to you, try me. You see, why me to try me? This is the transformation which is required in individual's life to help cope up with wonderful relationships and at the same time, these relationships will help you to become a good individual. Correct? Right? So we should learn how to be not always self-centric. And this leads us to the most satisfying two-letter word. 
एनी गेसेस टू लेटर वर्ड कपिल सर हंस रहे यस कपिल सर बताइए मी मी इट्स मी ओके फाइन इट्स ऑल राइट ओके इट्स ये जो एम है ना एम को बस उल्टा कर दीजिए क्या बन जाएगा वी मी एंड आई आर सिमिलर टर्म्स दैट इज व्हाई द मोस्ट सेटिस्फाइंग वन लेटर टू लेटर वर्ड इज वी हाउ विल कम तो एक्चुअली मैं कहानी सुनाना चाहूंगा आप लोगों को तो कहानी सुनने में सबको अच्छा लगता है Having said that, कहानी है खरगोश और कछुए की लेकिन ऑफ कोर्स नए जमाने की नए कहानी है पुरानी कहानी नहीं है पहला पार्ट तो आपको पता ही है वैसे भी खरगोश था कछुआ था कछुआ हार गया नहीं सॉरी कछुआ जीत गया था और खरगोश हार गया था है ना तो वो कहानी के बाद ऑफ कोर्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन रनिंग तो उस खरगोश ने कछुए को फिर से अप्रोच किया अप्रोच कर ये बोला कि भाई चल आ देखिए जरा कित, कितना है दम है ना तो लास्ट टाइम तो मैं हार गया था कोई बात नहीं पुरानी जमानी पुरानी बात है रात गई बात गई अब नया सा, नया सर्विस चालू करते हैं एंड ही चैलेंज द टोटो अगेन देखते इस बार कौन जीतता है ना विथ फुल इंतजियाजम फुल जोश फुल डिटर्मिनेशन वो खरगोश दौड़ा 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 दो सेकंड के अंदर रेस जीत गया कछुआ तो स्टार्टिंग लाइन को क्रॉस नहीं कर पाया ऑब्वियस <laughs> बात था लास्ट टाइम जो गलती किया था तो दो बार थोड़े वही गलती करेंगे तो गलती किए बिना वो इन वन शॉट ही वन द रेस तो फिर अब बेचारे जो हमारे कछुआ उसको बुरा लग गया भाई उसका भी ईगो है इतना सालों से अपना फर्स्ट पोजीशन होल्ड करके रखा बचपन से हम वही कहानी सुनते आ रहे हैं तीस साल हो गए चालीस साल हो गए चालीस साल तक तो हमारे नजर में बस कछुआ टॉपर था खरगोश हमेशा हार रहा था अब ये नया सीन चेंज होते हुए रिवर्स देखते हुए कछुआ को थोड़ा अच्छा नहीं लगा यार ऐसा गया मैं सेकेंड कैसा आ गया तो कछुआ ने इस बार फिर से जाकर खरगोश का चैलेंज किया भाई चलो देखते हैं फिटूस हो गया तुम्हारा एक मेरा एक दोनों का बराबर हो गया एक और गेम खेलते हैं तो बोला ठीक है चलो खेलते हैं ऑने मार्क गेट सेट गो भागे दोनों लेकिन जैसे भागे खरगोश तो भागा 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 लेकिन अचानक उसने ब्रेक मार दिया क्यों ब्रेक मारा क्योंकि उसके आगे एक बहुत बड़ा हर्डल था वो हर्डल क्या था पानी अब भाई साहब देखिए कछुआ जो है वो तो पानी सारा तैर निकल गया और खरगोश जो है वो नदी के किराने बैठे देख रहा था भाई करूँ क्या क्योंकि हर्डल सिचुएशन प्रॉब्लम में कभी भी आ सकते हैं अपनी लाइफ में करेक्ट अब फिनिशिंग लाइन उस पानी के उस तरफ था और कछुआ तो बस आराम से बढ़िया बढ़िया अपने कछुए का चाल चलते चलते फिर से जीत गया अब गेम क्या हो गया टू वन कछुआ दो बार जीत गया खरगोश बेचार एक बार जीत पाया तो इतना होने के बाद में खरगोश और कछुए को दोनों को ये बात समझ में आई क्या समझ में आई वो ये कि दोनों के अंदर इंडिविजुअल स्ट्रेंथ थे क्या इंडिविजुअल स्ट्रेंथ है खरगोश द रैबिट इज फास्ट ऑन लैंड बट द टोटो वाइज इज मोर एडवांटेजियस ऑन वाटर सिचुएशन ऑन लिक्विड सर्विस चौथी बार उन्होंने समझाया था इस साथ यू नो हम करते ना एमओ यू मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग करते हैं हम बड़े बड़े कंपनीज के साथ सो दे हैव साइंड एन एमओ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद ईच अदर एंड दिस टाइम दे हैव अगेन स्टार्टेड द रेस और इमा गेट सेट गो करते दोनों भागे लेकिन इस बार अकेले अकेले नहीं भागे खरगोश ने कछुओं के अपने ऊपर चढ़ा लिया और भागे दो सेकंड के अंदर नदी किनारे पहुंच गए जैसे नदी किनारे पहुंचे खरगोश कछुओं के ऊपर बैठ गया अब दोनों नदी क्रॉस हो गए क्योंकि खरगोश तैरना नहीं आता लेकिन कछु का तो आता है कछुआ खरगोश को ऊपर बैठा के तैर गया और जैसे दूसरा वाला पीस ऑफ लैंड आया विद इन फोर सेकेंड तो यू सी हाउ इन दिस एंटायर स्टोरी वट वी लर्न दैट इंडिविजुअली किसी व्यक्ति को कुछ आता है किसी और व्यक्ति को कुछ और आता है कभी कभी लोग मल्टी टैलेंटेड भी होते हैं बट हैविंग सेड दर ऑल दिस मल्टी टैलेंट्स और सिंगल टैलेंट और डबल टैलेंट और ट्रिपल टैलेंट वट एवर यू कॉल इट दिस विल कम इन टू पिक्चर दिस विल कम इन टू यू नो आपने एक ऑर्केस्ट्रा देखे ऑर्केस्ट्रा एटलीस्ट यूएस में तो बहुत फेमस है ऑर्केस्ट्रा मतलब एक वो आया था करता रहता वो बंदा और और हारमोनियम वो ये सब बचता रहता है हारमोनियम ऑफकोर्स वहाँ पर कुछ और बचता है सो द ऑर्केस्ट्रेटर उस पता नहीं उस बैंड मास्टर को बैंड मास्टर कहते जाते हैं मुझे याद है दैट बैंड मास्टर सिंपली किप्स ऑन इशारा देता है वो कुछ नहीं करता बस इशारा देता है और जितने भी सारे बैंड लोग बैंड में लोग बैठे हुए हैं उसके इशारा के हिसाब से वो लोग अपना इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स प्ले करते हैं नाउ पॉइंट ऑफ मिनट हियर मिला जिस व्यक्ति को सेक्सोफोन आता है उस व्यक्ति को वायलिन नहीं आता होगा जरूरी नहीं कि आए जिस व्यक्ति को पियानो आता है उस व्यक्ति को जरूरी नहीं है कि उसको क्लैरिनेट आए 
जिस व्यक्ति को क्लैरेंडर आता है उसको जरूरी नहीं है कि उसको एक परकशन इंस्ट्रूमेंट आए बट अंडर द एबल गाइडेंस ऑफ एन एक्सपर्ट बैंड मास्टर वो लोग क्या करते हैं अपना जो परफॉर्मेंस है वो वंडरफुली ब्रिलियंटली ऑर्केस्ट्रेट करते हैं इंडिविजुअली अगर एक बंदे को बिठा दू शायद कोई नहीं आएगा देखने के लिए शो को लेकिन सबको साथ में बिठाए उस बैंड मास्टर के आदेश अनुसार अगर वो लोग काम करते हैं then individually all these skills come together in the foreground and a brilliant show is created this is the power of the two letter word called e so competition comparison are good but contributing to each other is the best you have your advantages he has his own advantages both of you collaborate and work the results will be outstanding which you individually cannot achieve that that is a problem which is to be understood so with this we move on to the most poisonous three letter word and that is any guesses <laughs> okay Since there are no no audience i will have to make okay okay <laughs> is it yes, you okay. i don't know i mean no it's you is same as we only okay so it is i'll help out kapil sir and the audience here thank you so, so much. it is very very simple it is called as ego okay that's what it is My God, what is small teen word का है teen word का है सच्चा खतरा उसमें देखिए लिखा है warning ego एक दिखा रही था I was going to Bombay once तो local train में travel कर रहा था तो दो बिखारे लग रहे थे एक दिन झगड़ रहे थे दूसरे के साथ तो कोई तू यहाँ से कहाँ से आ गया तुझे पता नहीं मैं धारावी का बिखारी हूँ भाई तुम धारावी के बिखारी हो छह बुले पार्टी के बिखारी तो बिखारी तो बि� You know, jurisdiction अपना इलाका बता रहा है कि मैं धारावी का भिखा रही हूँ and you such an ego in the head भिखा रही है दोनों ultimately at the end of the they are fighting simply on the basis of basis of the area what a big ego what a big air massive air we have around the head वो एक कहावत है हिंदी में जिसकी ego बात बात पे चले वो जरा side लेके चले correct in this wonderful match of cricket You know our captain cool Mahendra Singh Dhoni ji, or our one or ex captain Mahendra ji is ex captain of course Tendulkar. बहुत सारा sledging होता है. Sledging यानी गाली निकालना basically. Sledging is such a bad thing that you are under tremendous pressure first of all. You have to perform for the country. You have to perform for your own performance. All things having said that, at the same time you have to face this opponent sledging. गाली निकाल. आप performance कर रहे हैं. आपने एक six के हमार दिया. वो बॉलर आपसे आंख आंख में आंख मिला के आपको दो तीन गालियां सुना देगा एक है ना मैं अगर एक सोडा ये मेरा वाटर बॉटल है अगर मैं इस वाटर बॉटल को हिलाऊ अच्छे से हिलाता हूं ढक्कन खोलता हूं तो क्या होगा उसी जगह पे अगर मैंने एक सोडा का बॉटल लिया अच्छे से हिलाया शेक किया मैंने शेक करने के बाद जैसे ढक्कन ऑरेंज जूस को ऑरेंज को दबाएंगे तो क्या निकलेगा ऑरेंज जूस एप्पल को दबाएंगे तो क्या निकलेगा एप्पल जूस मैंगो को स्क्वीज करेंगे तो क्या निकलेगा मैंगो जूस आपको स्क्वीज करेंगे तो क्या निकलेगा जो आपके अंदर है वो ही निकलेगा ना करेक्ट सो दिस इज व्हाट द थ्री लेटर वर्ड सेज ईगो व्हिच इज सो डेंजरस व्हिच थ्रेटेंस ऑल रिलेशनशिप्स छोटी छोटी बातों में झगड़ा हो जाता है व्हाई कैन नॉट बियर कैन नॉट टॉलरेट व्हाई मैं क्यों मेरे साथ ही ऐसा क्यों हमेशा मैं क्यों झुकूं ऑल दिस वंडरफुल रिलेशनशिप्स आर थ्रेटेंड अगर ऑरेंज एक आपके और मेरे तरह के व्यक्ति होता वो प्रेशर फील कर रहा होता क्योंकि मिक्सर क्या करता है जूसर क्या करता है ऐसा घुमाता है उसको करेक्ट अब इस फिल्म ट्रेमेंडस प्रेशर तो उसके अंदर जो ऑरेंज जूस है वो निकलेगा हम भी अगर प्रेशर में होते हैं जब जब हम प्रेशर में होते हैं तब तब हमारे अंदर से वो निकलेगा जो हमारे अंदर है अब हमारे अंदर बहुत बड़ा सा पत्थर है इसका नाम ईगो है तो ईगो वाले इशूज बहुत सारे आएंगे और ईगो को मिटाने के लिए बहुत सिंपल तरीका है एक्चुअली मैंने अपने एक्सपीरियंस से बहुत बढ़िया चीज सीखा है कि कोई व्यक्ति अगर गलत होता है ना जो गलत होता है पर्सन इज रॉन्ग एंड ही सेज सॉरी इज ऑनेस्ट 
a person who is wrong and he says is is not sure he is galat but still he says sorry is wise because he is valuing the relationship more than his own being right but a person who is damn sure ki main sahi hu phir wo sorry bolta hai usko kehte hai husband <laughs> but of course jokes apart hum agar jhukna sikhenge jhukna sikhenge na it means that we are valuing the relationship more than my own value my own opinion we are valuing the relationship more than my own ego so this is a very powerful sutra i have learned over the past many many years value the person value your relationship more than you value yourself आप देखिए मैं सिंपल सा गणित बता दो गणित क्या है अगर आप खुद को वैल्यू करेंगे तो आपके देखभाल करने के लिए आप ही है और कोई नहीं है लेकिन आप उस व्यक्ति को भी देखभाल करेंगे उस व्यक्ति को भी वैल्यू करेंगे आप मुसीबत में होंगे तो आपका देखभाल करने के दो लोग हैं आप तो खुद है ही वो भी आ जाएगा आपके साथ में सो दिस इज द वंडरफुल थिंग कॉल्ड एस डोंगोस्टिक बिकॉज दिस ईगो इज गोइंग टू शेटर ऑल रिलेशनशिप एंड इज गोइंग टू मेक यू एन एम टी वेकेंट एंड हार्टलेस पर्सन so moving ahead the fourth most pleasing word theek hai main bata deta hu isse pehle kapil sir guess kare <laughs> the fourth most pleasing four letter word is love l o v e need of the hour log bhooke hai pyar ke now mind you ha love does not always mean ladka aur ladki ke beech mein jo love hota hai wohi love hota hai no love always means Just like Kapil sir has shared love with me, how by meeting with the session. Similarly, Satish has also shared shared love with me. How by taking note of my presence. This is called as love, respect. Love is so much required, so much you know crucial need of the hour. So much so that actually, just just I have come across this wonderful newspaper clippings quite few years ago. I have saved it. 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 इसे शादी कर ली शादी किससे की देखो उसे भी बाजू में ही है डॉल शी इज अ डॉल इसको ना इंग्लिश में बोलते ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिलिया ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिलिया यानी कि एक्सेसिव लव एक्सेसिव अटैचमेंट टूवर्ड्स एन ऑब्जेक्ट पीपल आर सो लव हंगरी सो लव हंगरी दैट दे आर सार्ट लविंग डॉल्स और इस व्यक्ति ने सेरेमोनियसली ही हैज कंडक्टेड द मैरिज टू दिस डॉल एंड स्टिल लिविंग हैप्पी टूगेदर वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ये देखिए She is called as Miss Eiffel. In shaks ne Eiffel Tower ka shadi kar liya. Sunne mein ajeeb lagta hai. Ek aur hai. This lady has married a roller coaster. Kya chal raha hai duniya mein? The wrong, the only wrong thing which we have done is why these things are happening because the reason is here. Dekhiye. Things. जो वस्तु होता है ना वस्तु माउस हो गया ईयरफोन हो गया मोबाइल हो गया लैपटॉप हो गया कैमरा जो भी हो गया ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर मेड टू बी यूज्ड इस्तेमाल करने के लिए बने हैं और व्यक्ति जो होते हैं उनसे रिश्ता संपर्क करने के लिए होता है लेकिन हमने उल्टा कर दिया रिवर्स कर दिया दैट इज वाई वी आर फेसिंग सो मच प्रॉब्लम सो मच क्राइसिस दैट अगर आप मुसीबत में है ना अगर आप मुसीबत में होते हैं हाउ मच वेल्थियर यू आर you will come to know a man's wealth is calculated by the number of people who is surrounding him who come forward to wipe his tears when he is crying that is called as a wealthy man not a person just cause was note he note hai <laughs> note is not wealth you see how many people are moving forward to wipe your tears when you are crying that is real wealth real asset relationships values ha huh? so this is the dire need of the hour how to act of course ye sab jo example diya maine object ke sath rishta sambandh kar dena it will be very very you know very extreme examples but that is what is required we want to love and we want to be loved also hai na aur love exchange karne ke liye ek person hona bahut zaruri hai ek person ka aage hona bahut zaruri hai it's like you know mother selflessly she loves us that is the definition of love mother's love is simply like that she simply loves us without any regret without any sorrow without any guilt without any 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 koi sankoch nahi rakhta apne heart heart ke andar ki bhai maine apne beta ke itna palan poshan kiya bara unne ko na chhod ke chala gaya aisa nahi hoti mummy kabhi bhi nahi sochti that is love so don't wake up tomorrow 
बाई है सम रिग्रेट रिमोर्स गिल्ट इन योर हार्ट कि यार काश कल को उस व्यक्ति को मैंने भला बुरा ना बोल दिया होता तो आज सुबह व्हाट्सअप चेक कर रहे वो व्यक्ति मर गया कोविड हो गया कुछ भी हो गया मर गया सो डोंट वेक अप एवरी डे विद दिस काइंड ऑफ गिल्ट इन योर हार्ट कि काश मैंने उस टाइम उसका ऐसा बिहेव नहीं किया होता Why? Why do you want to make your life a regretful place to live in? Make your life a very wonderful place to live in by simply sharing love. But one thing is that is called the reality check. Now I want you to pay attention. I want to draw your attention now. This reality check is although we have very clear, I the most selfish one-letter word. We the most you know cherished two-letter word. क्योंकि साथ में काम करेंगे तो काम अच्छा बनता है थ्री द मोस्ट डेंजरस फोर लेटर वर्ड थ्री वर्ड थ्री लेटर वर्ड ईगो एंड द फोर लेटर वर्ड कॉल्ड एस लव विच इज ऑल वी नीड बट द रियलिटी चेक इज दैट समटाइम्स पीपल इज अ पॉइंट वी वॉन्ट टू लव इट इज नॉट वे नॉट लविंग वी वॉन्ट टू लव बट क्या होता है आगे वाला व्यक्ति आगे से रेस्पॉन्ड नहीं करता रेस्पॉन्ड करता भी है तो इट वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज मैनिकुलेटिंग और सेल्फिश और वट How to do that? Cannot help. Yeah, for sometimes time is a point. I was saying what I was trying to say. Sometimes people disappoint. Sometimes time disappoint. People get disappointed by not living up to your expectations, or you are not living up to his expectations. This is how people disappoint each other. How time disappoint? Even though you may be in the same page, you are congruent to his love. He is congruent to your love, but. Time of death separates. Father son love करते हैं, mother से भी love करता है, बहन भाई बीवी बच्चे से भी love करते हैं, है ना? But time separates all of us. You see? So what is the solution? How to just simply keep on loving and be loved? That's how you should try to understand the reality. That reality is. Never make an appointment with disappointment. Never make an appointment disappointment. That is the nature of selfless love. Actually, people people love us not because of who we are, because we conform to their expectations of who we are. That's why people love us. This is called as conditional love. Conditional love means that if you love me, I will love you. And conditional love is always frustrated, always always frustrated, always one-sided. दो तरफा नहीं होता एक तरफा प्यार होता है बट लॉर्ड इज ऑनली पर्सन होम यू कैन लव ऑन कंडीशनली अनकंडीशनली मीन्स दिस इज नॉट कंडीशन देर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन एज सच टू लव हिम एट सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी दैट गॉड एंड टू नो मोर अबाउट हिम आई वुड लाइक ऑल ऑफ यू टू स्टे ट्यून्ड टू आवर अपकमिंग सीक्रेट्स आई लव टू एंड सेशन हियर एब्रप्टली वाई बिकॉज I want all of you to take some time and digest the matter which we have discussed today. See, we have discussed I, we have discussed we, we have discussed ego, and we have discussed love. All these four things we have understood very clearly. So far, my understanding has gone. Is it clear? I mean, of course, I cannot get a response from all of you. But having said that, these basic relationship secrets help us to understand first of all how to deal with people. and the more we deal successfully and nicely with people people are going to help us out to chisel a wonderful character out of our wonderful mind we alone cannot help ourselves no it is not possible to help yourself alone no when people help you out you get an extra support jahaj apne aap samandar mein nahi tairta jahaj bhale hi bahut mighty hai bahut khatarnak hai bahut vishal ka hai bahut badhiya hai बहुत हेवी है बहुत माइटी है टाइटैनिक स्टिल उस जहाज को चलाने के लिए एक नाविक चाहिए वन कैप्टन इज रिक्वायर्ड यू सी हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इनसिग्निफिकेंट पर्सन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ कंपैरिजन विद दिस बिग टाइटैनिक शिप स्टिल बट कैप्टन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टीयर टू नेविगेट थ्रू द ओशियन वाटर्स एंड रीच द डेस्टिनेशन एंड फॉर दिस फॉर दिस सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट यू नीड एक्सटर्नल हेल्प इज वेरी वेरी रिक्वायर्ड we will discuss few more topics in the next coming week or whenever time permits whenever we shall meet by the coordination of kapil sir and satish sir and the webinar team of parol university if anybody has some questions you can uh, put forward otherwise this is samu viradas and you can find me at this number and that's all i would like to end here for the day
thank you so much uh, acharya sir is playing you. you know every time when we see and every time we hear from you we get to learn something i mean i don't know let me be selfish in this and i get to <laughs> learn something right because we don't have students right now with us on this platform but ultimately i would also i think i can assure that students also will feel that they have been enlightened on something which is special so sure. now sir i think i've got two questions one yes, is sure. one is off track a bit but another was another one is a uh, uh, little bit match the topic Mm -hmm. the question reads out is uh, as far as egoism is concerned like two people are there one person does not okay let me just read it out and then i'll like, explain it to you because i don't know the language okay so a student wants to say that there are two persons who are having egoism or ego issue one is showing respect instead of having ego one is showing respect to another one but having it shown for so many times having the respect shown for so many times the another one who is egoistic not ready to consider the fact that the one who is showing the respect to him is a kind of a guy who is polite and the one who is not showing the respect would think in the other hand that he is not showing ego just because he does not have anything to hold how someone can you know solve the situation because how someone else can solve the situation that's what i mean that's what the question says because there are two people the cases are differing so many times and somewhere if someone thinks okay if he is not showing the ego that means he is gone and he is not having anything to when you off and that's that's how they have a denigrating look at you because you have shown respect to them and they will take it for granted so are you getting the question i think that's what yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yes sir how how can we tackle that situation because it is an important thing where we need to understand what is ego and what is self respect also so we cannot even hurt our self respect neither ego i mean ego can also be hurt and ego can also be negotiated with but self respect when it comes to self respect it is pretty much hard to understand how can we take it correct correct uh one thing to understand uh kapil sir and the audience who are hearing to me we should not always take contextual meanings we should sometimes takes take we should sometimes take overall meaning also now as per this particular context which we are referring to in a particular scenario in a particular time frame reference one incident has happened some tutuno mein ho gaya aur is vyakti ko is vyakti ko ego clash ho gaya and they are now uh, one person is tolerant other person is intolerant in simpler in simpler words even though both of them are having ego now the question is how to you know balance the situation without giving up the self respect point that is good that is correct so you see things cannot be always solved in a chutki when one snap you cannot solve everything sometimes we need to take it this context we need to take it out of this current timeline ye karm timeline mein timeline ke andar ye is particular time mein ye incident hua isko ab nikal ke ha na analyze kijiye as for this current timeline this incident might have happened correct now to answer this question again you need you need the knowledge of several other aspects reality in life not aspects reality in life once the reality is called as a law of karma once the reality is called as a law of karma law of karma is simple as as you sow so shall you reap whatever jaise karni waisi bhadi it is very simple to understand but to understand the intricacies of law of karma is very difficult now one thing is for sure a person who is self respect is getting hurt he can always raise his voice up that is not a question of ego uh, agar aapka self respect hurt ho raha hai then you can always raise your voice up that is not a question of ego secondly you don't have any self respect at all you don't have any uh, no. again again we have to define the word what is the meaning of the word self respect self respect for example i'll tell one boss is there in the company 
and one uh, said the pune is there the boss has the authority to shout on the pune i'm not talking of equality boss has the authority to shout on the pune provided the pune has done some mistake that he cannot deny because as per his duty he is supposed to do something the pune has done it wrong so he can get some scolding and as per the boss's duty also he can scold provided the pune has done something wrong just like take the example of father and child give a simple example to make things further easier the father is the child is there father has all rights to scold the child agar wo child ko scold nahi karega to kal ko jaake wo child bigdega 100% bigdega now this scolding of the child is not threatening the self respect of the child no you follow the scolding of the child actually is helping the child to develop a wonderful ego how to respect his father father further and at the same time how to develop that understanding how not to do this kind of mistake again and again so here sometimes we are supposed to keep our self respect or self esteem at a lower rung and we are simply accept, supposed to accept the chastisement which we are receiving or the on toward situation which we are going through is supposed to simply supposed to receive it so it is not always question of protecting my rights sadda haq athar haq aisa hamesha zaruri nahi hai sometimes we are supposed to go through that experience just to learn see how this is how the minds open dimag ke sare khilkiyan khul jati hai jab hum situation hota na pressure situation mein trouble situation mein hote hain trouble waters mein jab hote hain humko ye bhi seekhne ko milta hai ki kaise us situation ko handle kiya jaye na ki hamesha ki bhai apne aap ko kaisa comfort zone mein rakho ego hurt hoga hi aap apne aap ko comfort zone mein rakhenge to ego hurt hoga hi aapka by default kyunki aaj jaisa maine session mein bataya tha people don't live simply to fulfill your expectations no so there is always going to be brush of ego that is ego clash hoga hi hoga but an intelligent person a wise person jis jo vyakti buddhiman ho jata hai uske dimag ki khidkiyan khula hua hota hai usko ye samajh mein aata hai bhai ek aur challenge aaya hai is challenge se main kya seekh sakta hu ab self respect jo hai na wo ek ha kya kehta hai it's a subjective definition subjective yani ki objective yani ki ये बॉटल है बॉटल को आप पेन नहीं बोल सकते ये ऑब्जेक्टिव डेफिनेशन है है ना सब्जेक्टिव यानी कि द नेचर ऑफ द बॉटल कैन बी डिफरेंट ये स्टील बॉडी बॉटल है आपके पास ग्लास बॉडी बॉटल हो सकता है आपके पास प्लास्टिक बॉडी बॉटल हो सकता है दैट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव सब्जेक्टिव इज द बॉटल द बॉटल ना सिमिलरली सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट इज एन इट्स अ सब्जेक्टिव सब्जेक्टिव यानी कि सिचुएशन के साथ चेंज होता है अब जो व्यक्ति सिचुएशन में है प्रॉब्लम फेस कर रहा है वो व्यक्ति चिल्ला रहा है उसके ऊपर और यहाँ पे बंदा सोच रहा है कि यार मेरे सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट थ्रेटन कर रहा है दैट इज ट्रू बट इस समय ये सीख रहा हूँ कि कैसे दूसरों के साथ बिहेव नहीं करना यू सी हाउ इज टेकिंग आउट अ पॉजिटिव हाउ इज गिविंग अ पॉजिटिव व्यू टू दिस इंसिडेंट कि सेकंड पर्सन इज बिहेविंग रॉन्ग विथ मी आई नो आई एम फुल्ली अवेयर दैट वो मेरे से गलत बिहेव कर रहा है बट आई एम लर्निंग एट द सेम टाइम हाउ नॉट टू बिहेव लाइक दिस विथ माई जूनियर और माई कॉलिग और माई एक्सवाइजर तो दिस आर यूज प्रोटेक्ट योर ओन सेल्फ रेस्पेक्ट at the same time you learn something new that is how this ego can be handled ego issues kuch nahi ego issue ego issue ko handle karna bahut simple hai provided khidkiya khol do bas aur kuch nahi that's all have a different view of vision that's all and you go which issues will always be solved dekhiye ek aur just life last time add karna chahunga ego issue sorry self respect aapka tabhi threaten hoga jab aap bahut egoistic honge अब हमेशा आपको सब कुछ से चिड़ बचेगी चिड़ बचेगी यानी कि यार इसने ऐसा क्यों किया मैं ये हूँ मैं वो हूँ मैं ये हूँ मैं वो हूँ हमेशा आपको चिड़ बचेगी क्यों क्योंकि उसने आपके कंफर्ट जोन को लड़का रहा है देन यू विल हैव दिस यार ऐसा क्यों जस्टिस चाहिए आई वी वॉन्ट जस्टिस वील ऑलवेज हाइट फॉर जस्टिस टिल दैट टाइम वी आर नॉट मेच्योर्ड अनफ वेन यू वी का मेच्योर्ड अनफ स्टॉप फाइटिंग एनी मोर इंस्टेड वी चॉक आउट आवर ओन वंडरफुल वेज Okay, I think we've got one more question. I think we've got the whole three sixty perspective of how we tackle the distribution when it is there. Uh, but then too, I would like to add to this question. If someone thinks just because you are respecting them, they think that just because you are a poor guy or poor in quality or maybe lower in the social strata. Or maybe you have to do it. That is why you are doing. It. On the other hand, what is happening? You are doing it just because this is their new plan. So that time, if someone denigrates you, someone thinks you know something bad about you, or maybe someone intends 
too insult you in front of others that this guy since he is a pun that's why he respects me or maybe uh, this guy is 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 hawalda that's why he respects me so on the other hand hawalda is having his own self respect and he says good morning to his officer because he feel like doing this so other person takes in other way and he tries and circulate this kind of a message i mean at that time how should the reaction of the other person should be should he continue respecting or there should be any kind of an uh, defensive technique that he should use or maybe he will avoid twisting the kind of a person or avoid being polite to the person or being normal or will start being normal instead of being polite how should it uh, be taken exactly all, yeah. it's a very good question actually uh the same answer is given in the uh, bhagavad gita okay bhagavad gita says that duty has to be performed come what may duty has to be performed you cannot you cannot give up your duty you are duty bound hawalda's duty is to salam sab pius duty is to papers wagera is whatever his duty is just because he is facing an ill treatment from his superiors whatever that does not mean that you should give up doing your duty and gita very wonderfully points out that this continuation of your duty will result in perfection of your endeavors whatever du- duty you are doing if you are simply continuing with it provided you know what is supposed to be done again duty means you are knowing what you are doing सलाम ठोकना ये एक हवलदार का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी उसका ड्यूटी है अगर ही इज सिंपली कैरिंग ऑन विद दिस ड्यूटी सी भगवत गीता सो यूनिवर्सल इफ यू सिंपली कैरिंग ऑन विद द ड्यूटी यू विल अचीव परफेक्शन इन योर एंडीवर व्हाट एवर यू आर डूइंग ऑन द अदर हैंड नाउ से फॉर दैट मैटर द पर्सन हु इज गेटिंग सैल्यूटेड हु इज गेटिंग सैल्यूटेड ही मिसट्रीट्स विद हिम इफ ही इज डूइंग आउट ऑफ हिज ओन विम्सिकल विल एंड विश मेरी इच्छा है मेरी मर्जी है मैं इसको चाटा मार दूंगा मैं इसको आज भला बुरा सुना दूंगा ही इज लाइबल टू पनिशमेंट दैट पर्सन इज लाइबल टू पनिशमेंट ऑन द अदर हैंड दैट हवल दर हुई सिंपली कीपिंग ऑन सेल्यूटिंग अचीव परफेक्शन इन इज लाइफ सो यू सी इन दॉल टाइम फ्रेम वी मे नॉट बी एबल टू सी द एंड रिजल्ट दैट इज वाई दिस टाइमलेस पीस ऑफ वेदिक विजडम इज गिविंग अस रियल विजडम That you see the longer, like, like opening batsman, I opening batsman out. Ho gaya. It's not that it's not that the game has gone. Are no second batsman also, third batsman also. The game can still continue. So immediately, if we jump into some conclusion result, jump into, it may not be the right conclusion. Wait, see, see from shastric point of view, see from wisdom point of view. Then we will find out that oh, he is simply carrying on his duty. He is not at fault. So even after being getting bullied. If he still skips on saluting, it is his perfection. Whose perfection? Who? Hawaldar's perfection. He may not know it, and we may not know it because we don't have that kind of knowledge. But once we achieve that kind of knowledge, we will know that because we are continuing our duty. These are trivial issues. Trivial issues means, ठीक है, आज को घरा बोला सुना दिया, कल फिर से. In the Bhagavad Gita, they say that this non-permanent appearance of happiness and distress. Are just like changing seasons. You know, changing seasons. Now, it's rainy season. After rainy season, it will start. Of course, after monsoon, it will then fall. Autumn will come. Autumn will then start. Then it will 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 start. and because of his wonderful quality called as tolerance he achieves perfection in all his endeavors this is gita gyan all right i think this is well answered and uh, obviously this insightful answer that you have given or the response that you have given is going to be observed and learned by the person who feel this kind of who are in this kind of situation or who feel this kind of reaction from other side 
uh, sir, one more thing. By the way, we have so many questions, but I think all of many of them, almost all of them, have been answered in the PPT or the session that we have already discussed. But one more question is there, which is a bit sidetracked, but ultimately this is there in people's mind nowadays. That how to be away from the anxiety or the kind of a chattering that we have in our mind, constant thinking, unnecessary thoughts keep on coming in mind. How can we avoid? How yes, can yeah. we uh, improve our concentration? That's what the question has been. Though it is a side track question, if you will to answer, you please. Actually, in the same Bhagavad Gita itself, Krishna says that. Your mind is a wonderful friend. It can serve you as your best friend. At the same time, the worst enemy. You cannot just imagine how worse it can become. Now this enemy or friend depends upon your training. How you train the mind? See, mind is uncontrolled. We all believe. Your question is same. Mind has... It is constantly roaming around and number scientific research says that there are 60,000 thoughts happening in our mind in one day. 60,000 vichar chalte in our mind. In a normal vikti ke dimaag mein, 60,000 thoughts, average man, uh, uh, normal man, average thoughts ye hota hai. Yani ke agar hum boil down kare, boil down kare, ek din mein itna, mando 24 ghande mein itna. To calculation karne karne ke baad hume ye pata lagta hai ki 4 second mein ek vichar aata hai. Har 4th second a new thought comes into our mind. Why? It's a bombardment. Bombardment. Die, 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 die. Goli bari chal rahi Thoughts come. Krishna advises in the Bhagavad Gita that but by constant practice, constant practice and detachment, his mind can be easily controlled. Easily controlled. Tendulkar apne ap tendulkar nahi bana. Holy ABD Villiers अपने आप ग्रेड ग्रेड स्पोर्ट्समैन स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन नहीं बने कांस्टेंट प्रैक्टिस वो नेट प्रैक्टिस करना बहुत जरूरी जब तक आप नेट प्रैक्टिस नहीं करेंगे आप फील्ड में जाके क्या करेंगे झंडा गाड़ेंगे कुछ नहीं कर सकते आप फील्ड में जाके तो नेट प्रैक्टिस है ना कि कांस्टेंट वॉच यू वॉच योर थॉट्स नो माइंड कंट्रोल इज नथिंग बट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द माइंड अब मैनेजमेंट करने के लिए आपको मगर पूछ मैनेजमेंट कैसे करना है यू आर एक्सपर्ट इन दिस यू आर एक्सपर्ट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ होटल मैनेजमेंट क्या करते हैं your simply management simply requires observation observe kariye management simply hamare jo guru maharaj hai prabhupad ji batata hai ki management is very simple management yani ki whatever needs to be done get it done jo cheez jaisa maan lijiye mera yahan pe maan lijiye bottle mujhe pani lagta hai pyaas lagi hai bottle nahi hai a simple management formula is pyaas lagi hai na bottle leke aao pani ka bottle leke aao pani ka glass leke aao ho gaya pyaas ka problem solve similarly management yani ki जो चीज जिस टाइम पे करना चाहिए वो कर दीजिए अब ये करने के लिए भी एक इंपॉर्टेंट प्रीरिक्विजिट है वो इंपॉर्टेंट प्रीरिक्विजिट क्या है ऑब्जर्वेशन मैंने ऑब्जर्व किया ना कि मुझे प्यास लग रही है तब जाकर मैंने सोल्यूशन निकाला कि भाई एक ग्लास पानी लेके आओ है ना तो मैनेजमेंट का सेकेंड पॉइंट है कि मैनेजमेंट का एक कॉन्सिक्वेंस है कि ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑब्जर्वेशन फिर सोल्यूशन आएगा तो मैनेज हो जाएगा सिचुएशन सिमिलरली माइंड को यदि मैनेज करना है how what is the what is the locomotion what is the movement of your thoughts here and there here and there it's going on correct try to control that kaise control karenge don't think that simple control is in your hands remote ac ka remote aapke hath mein hai fan ka remote aapke hath mein hi hai correct no the remote is in your own hands hum bas apne aap ko lachar feel karte hai bebas feel karte hai isliye lachar bane hue hain but we should know the remote is in our own hand हमारे हाथ में बस उसको ऑब्जर्व करना है कहां कहां विचार जाता है जाने नहीं देना है और एक और चीज है एक पर्टिकुलर टाइम पे एक पर्टिकुलर विचार ही आता है ऐसा नहीं कि एक एक विचार पूरे दिन भर आता है नो इफ ए पर्सन इज डिप्रेस और एंगजाइटी तो 24 घंटा में एंगजाइटी नहीं रहता खाना खा तो थोड़ा एंगजाइटी फील होता है उसको उसको तो बढ़िया माँ का हाथ का बना हुआ स्वाद आ रहा होगा या फिर वाइफ का बना हाँ हाथ का खा बढ़िया स्वाद आ रहा होगा करेक्ट सो दैट टाइम इज नॉट एंगजाइटी मतलब 20 मिनट जो आप लंच ले रहे हैं मील ले रहे हो उससे थोड़ा ना एंशियस होता है यार अब तो बढ़िया आलू के पराठे खा रहे होते हैं बढ़िया दम वाले बिरयानी खा रहे हैं बिरयानी खा रहे होते हैं करेक्ट सो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू सी हाउ योर माइंड बिकम्स सो यू नो इलेटेड बाय हैविंग फूड तब आपका विचार कहां पे एंगजाइटी वाले डिप्रेशन वाले 
यही है फैसिलिटी माइंड का जो हमको दिया गया वरदान है दिस सेम माइंड व्हेन वी वॉच एन वी कीप ए केयरफुल वॉच ऑन द थॉट्स इट इज ऑलवेज बी हैप्पी बस एक नजर रखना है और कुछ इसके फर्दर टेक्निक्स भी अराउंड वर एंड डिस्कस ऑल दिस फर्दर टेक्निक बट इट्स नॉट अ ओवरव्यू दे दिया माइंड को मैनेज करने के लिए ऑब्जर्व कीजिए माइंड को माइंड का थॉट्स कैसा 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 भागता है टक 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 भागता रहता है उन सारे स्पेसिफिक एरियाज पे कंट्रोल करिए ऑटोमेटिक माइंड कंट्रोल हो जाएगा वेरी सिंपल सॉल्यूशन ऑल राइट आई थिंक विद दिस आई वांट टू से वन मोर थिंग या दैट द टर्म व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज सोशल इमोशनल लर्निंग इन एजुकेशन वाज डिस्कवर्ड इन लेट 80s 1980s एंड दैट्स व्हाट education is uh, around the world they wanted to inculcate in the education system so when a person comes out after an education in an educational institute he is not only good at the technical knowledge which he has gained but he is also good at how to apply as far as the right is concerned so i think sir this session that we have had today is something which is going to have that kind of inculcation as far as the profession or as far as the personal life is concerned so by far whatever we have discussed in part 1 of it been wonderful sir thanks for sharing your time and experience with us thank you uh, our speaker guest mr pritha uh, sir also and amogi vidas ji from akshay patra also uh, it is like i say it is always an interesting a joyful and interactive session that we have normally and where we when we do not know where the time limit is but being in a professional era we need to have um, an end of it so today's session is going to be ending with this uh, before i share my thanks for uh, uh, feeling of gratefulness to you both the speakers who have come and joined us for sharing something which is going to be much more helpful and sure for the students and for those who are viewing this thank you so much for being there and uh, have a good day i wish you a very good day good health take care of yourself for the guests uh, we shall sign off now thank you so much hari krishna we can sign off now